And new developments this afternoon in the investigation of a fire that killed two people and injured more than two dozen. 7 News learning the police have a person of interest in that case. And 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez outside that apartment in Aurora. Lance, you saw investigators at the apartment next door earlier today. And those investigators were back here on the scene uh, conducting interviews, trying to piece together exactly what happened. Fire investigators also meeting this afternoon, and we're still waiting to hear whether they believe this fire was indeed arson. Investigators were back on the scene today talking to tenants and apartment managers. They went into the apartment building next door to the one that burned. Sources say the person of interest lived in that building. One of the tenants told us that a red tag has been placed on a door in that building. A source says it's the person of interest's apartment. We have our suspicions as to who may have caused this. There's too many factors about it that it wasn't coincidental. The apartment complex owner told us earlier this week that he suspects arson. He said the couple that died was one of the nicest he'd ever met. Boon Hing Tamavongsa and his wife Dong died from smoke inhalation. Today their pickup truck was removed from the property. Now, all police are saying at this point is that no arrest has been made and that they are helping fire investigators with interviews. Now, just a moment ago, we saw a number of fire investigators on the roof of that apartment building. Some tenants of the adjacent apartment say they're worried about their own safety. Managers tell 7 News they're letting those tenants out of their lease. I'm reporting live in Aurora, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.